So we need to book in our meat birds and our pigs for slaughter, but they're not there yet, but we don't know quite when they will be. We're right by the highway, so the noise is really loud here. Anyhow, we're gonna weigh them. We're gonna weigh the chickens because the chickens, we wanna estimate what their in the freezer weight would be. And then we are going to weigh our pigs because our goal weight is 250 pounds for the pigs. And then I have a couple charts that I can look at that kind of show like the growth rates, etc., to estimate when they will be. So first we are going to weigh our chickens. Never dull. So, I grabbed a big one, and a big one was about eight pounds. And they say it's seventy-five percent. Pardon me. Oh, there's big ones in there. I thought she said a dead one. She meant big one. Okay, so um, a big one was about eight pounds, which dressed weight would be about a six-pound bird, and small one was six pounds, which dressed weight would be about a four or so pound bird. So I think it's safe bet. I sure hope the abattoir has good availability. We're gonna try to book them in for, in two weeks. So now let's go weigh some pigs. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to weigh a pig with a measuring tape. I've got a bucket of whey. You can just use their feed as well if you want. But um, these pigs, they started off as the nicest pigs we've ever had and they've ended up as the meanest pigs we've ever had. Um, so I tried to weigh them yesterday with just grain and they weren't going for it. They were just trying to bite my legs. So today I made cheese and I'm gonna feed them this whey and while they eat this whey I'm going to quickly, quickly weigh them. So to weigh a pig you need either like a flexible measuring tape or you can use a piece of twine if you don't feel like putting your good sewing tape on a pig. That's cool too. Um, and then with that twine you can either you can just measure the twine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure their length from the base of their neck to the base of their tail. This is their length and then we're gonna measure around their heart girth. So the girth roughly where their heart is right behind their shoulders. And this is their girth and they see this bucket away and they want it but I'm waiting for Mac to get here so he can video me but he has the baby and he's protesting I think Hamish don't you go in there get out of there you're gonna get bit get out no Hamish you're gonna sit down on the ground with Rowan while Mac videos this okay sit, sit on the ground
Okay, so that was a little fast pace there. All the pigs are 42 inches in length, and the biggest one was 42 inches in girth, and the smallest was 38 inches in girth. So, length times girth times girth, and you're gonna get some crazy number. Like on the big one, it's like 70,000, and you're like, what? Then you divide that by 400. This is basically finding the volume of a cylinder. A pig is a cylinder. So the biggest one is 185 pounds. And last night when I told my husband, I'm gonna weigh these pigs, he said the biggest one is 180 pounds. Make sure you note that. I know the biggest one's 180 pounds. And I'm like, okay, sure. 185 pounds. And they say that this measurement is correct within about five pounds. Um, and the smallest one was about 155 pounds. So I'm gonna look at a pig growth chart that my stepdad follows and see what it says for how long till we butcher. Friends who have the same pigs from the same batch, they booked theirs in for like November 3rd and right now it's September 11th today. So I don't think we need quite that long. I don't know, we'll see. So estimated freeze up of hard freeze is in eight weeks and Marius said that he really wanted them to be gone before eight weeks from now. So I'm gonna call the abattoir and see what they say. These pigs started off really slow growing. It was quite frustrating. Um, but everybody who had them from the same batch told us the same thing. So we are never getting pigs from this person again. We were also told that they were field raised pigs that were a heritage cross. And when we went to pick them up, they're definitely not a heritage cross, as you can see. And then later we found out that actually they were raised in a barn and we were like, what? This is just not so nice to find out. We wanted good field raised pigs. They've been the oddest batch of pigs to raise. We've never raised barn pigs before. So I'm gonna call the abattoir and see what sort of dates they have. Maybe I'll aim for the same time as my friend, November 3rd, hopefully sooner. Um, and the chickens I'm gonna aim for in two weeks. But again, I don't know what their availability is like. So I just talked with the slaughterhouse and I have the choice of, Freya, could you turn that music off? Earlier than I wanted or later than I wanted. So I overanalyzed growth charts for both pigs and chickens and I'm comfortable in the decision that I'm going later. So the chickens are going in three weeks, October 3rd, and the pigs are going November 12th. And I also at the same time just booked in our steer, our beef cow, for November 18th. 